like you know they're fat when you get the crease lines when you're when your ankles. <laughs> what number are we on? Sixteen? <laughs> yeah, oh, on. and Why? we need to smile. Six. Wait, what do you mean we need to smile? Really? Because we. It makes it easier for you to grab thumbnails. I always find good ones. It's yeah. like just one, but we get them. <laughs> I got. Them. Hey pro tips for Perez, Tanel, and Sierra. We are on day number 16 of I was gonna the... help you there, but you went too fast. <laughs> day 16 of our movement yoga journey. Is that what we're calling it still? <laughs> so I don't know. What are we doing? We're stretching? We're doing tell us exactly what we're doing. We're on the floor today. Okay, do we have props? I don't know, do we have props? I don't, I don't think so. I think we're good. We're alternating back and forth today because we're why bored. not? <laughs> Day 16. We're on the downward slope. So, we're starting from... The toes. We're starting from the toes. Switching it all up today. <laughs> toes to the head. Sierra will call one body part. I will focus on it. I will call one body part. Sierra will focus on it. It's good luck. <laughs> well, if we're gonna do some breathing first, today we're gonna focus on breathing from the tailbone up. I'm not sure how that'll go, but um, so you're gonna find somewhere comfortable, whether that's if you wanna stay in your chair, or if you wanna be on the floor with us, your bed, wherever is comfortable. I also invite you to Close your eyes, hands can be on your lap or beside you. And we're going to inhale, nice and big, thinking about going all the way up through the spine. And exhale, going down to those toes. Inhale, expanding all the way up. And exhale, all the way down. Is there a better way to breathe? Belly to chest or chest to belly? Well, if we're doing it properly, belly to belly to chest. Okay. Are we mm -hmm. doing things proper today? <laughs> I was trying. Yeah. You go belly, fill your belly, then fill your chest, and then reverse. Lower the chest, which is always hard for us. <laughs> Lower the belly. Sitting up nice and tall. into that ground now. Doing one more inhale, noticing the sounds around you. kind of what your posture is like, getting into more of a neutral position, <laughs> whatever Follow that looks like. Make sure you keep holding on. Um, do you want to start with ankles? <clears throat> sure, all I do with my ankles. I figured, I know you like this one. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fat. <laughs> Have I what? Probably not. <laughs> so, because we are seated and not standing on our feet, we end up with prone, or what do they call that? This is the prone position, right? What is, what is that? Dorsi. When you flex it. Dorsiflexion. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's the one. It depends, yeah. How your how your feet go. Yeah. So Some people go like mine go in. Popular. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, I grab the ball of my foot and more on the outside of it and I really pull on my feet like hard. <laughs> 
I don't know if that's okay or not, well, but it's like, it also makes me less frustrated. <laughs> well, if you think about it, like I stand on body would be standing on them and walking on them. Right? And I haven't done this, and I probably should do it twice a day. Mm-hmm. When I wake up and when I go to sleep. Do you ever do it with bands? Because I don't. That's too much work. Uh, bands don't pull as hard as I do. Yeah. So planting elbows on the ground and just stretching the ankle. This is like, yeah, a couple times a day if you can, rubbing your feet. Does mine go out like this? So I have yeah. to like reset and then bring it. Yeah. The ankle. The sooner you do this after an injury, the better because I stopped doing it. And then this is the problem now. Now they like to do their own thing. Putting shoes on is hard toes curling and doing what they want. And this is from not stretching Sierra's legs, spasming like that is how little we do it. And mine is having like a little bit of a dysreflectic reaction right now. My whole lower body is getting warm. <laughs> and I can tell you are because you've got goosebumps all over your shoulder. <laughs> I mean, they're spasming lots today. They're like, whoa, what is happening? I also haven't been standing a lot lately, so that movement oh, yeah. you get with standing, that's my fault. I should work on that. <laughs> All right. So I don't know how to do any calf stretching, really, other than what we just did, but I'm going to make, we're going up the body. <laughs> calf I'm, stretching is pretty hard as us. Or is there a proper way to massage out the back of them? Yeah, or just we can do that. Attention? Some of us don't have someone massaging them all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can start at the big <laughs> meaty part, which is up behind the kneecap, and then start working down. Yeah, there's different ways to stretch, but it's not very simple. <laughs> I mean, even doing your Ankle. Helps too. So I almost get sometimes more push when they're here. And then you will feel this tighten up. And then you can move to the other one. Even like putting your foot on the ground and leaning into it. Gastrocnemius. That's what it is? Yeah. The one that's really Gastroc tight? and soleus. Which one's on the outside? Well, like, it's layers. Okay. So you'll feel gastroc. This big meaty thing right here. Well, and there's a meaty thing and then there's like a thin meaty piece. And then there's like tibialis anterior on the front. Yeah, this is in yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's movement. How often do you do this? And clearly, I, I have it. never massaged my own calves. That's because you always <laughs> have someone to do that. <laughs> yeah. It was mom, and then it turned <laughs> into Sarah, and it just slowly morphed. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, so then we're working on our thighs. Are we now? Well, so it, you can consider them like hip flexors. Okay, you know? so I really so like hip flexor stretch. I really like the pigeon. Yo -yo. Is it called? Uh, when know. you have one leg stretched out behind you. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Are we allowed to? Do yeah, that? we. Can. Yeah. <laughs> we can do that. Full disclaimer: This is. This might just be entertainment to watch, not actually. Yeah, it's hard to get to, especially if you're tight. I would say the other option, you just go on your stomach for this. Um, but if you want to explore, be very careful with the placement of this. I feel like only one of us can go in this position right now. Oh, this one's supposed to be in front, right? Like this. So 90 degrees. 
coming up, making sure your pelvis is nice and aligned. Making sure the back leg is out and nice and straight. Yeah, my back leg has some tendencies to wander out yeah. to one side or the other. I was told by Sierra that you said my hips were funky. Well, because you're so lengthy. Yeah. This is like a feat of a little bit of strength, but it feels so good. Yeah. You look like a little bit of a dead fish getting into it, but that's okay. <laughs> and that is like the best. So you started out on your side, prop the first, like the front leg out first, got that organized, and then slowly had your back leg. So, I will do it this way. She goes a little diagonal, puts that leg out front. I kind of spin on like the one butt cheek and bring my leg with me. Which is a whole nother stretch on its own. So even if you're like here, that's fine too. And then she goes up onto her knee and her hands, making sure this leg is nice and straight, in line with her pelvis, which isn't always easy. Like you can see her foot start moving. It's nice to have assistance. <laughs> Otherwise it just lingers over there all by itself. Yeah, and then it starts spasming. <laughs> yeah. It was nice and smooth though. Right? Smoother than when I spun around the other day, so <laughs> All right, nice. hips, or yes, as Sierra said, you just lie on your stomach and do yeah. the cobra yeah. from your elbows or your hands, whatever you like. All right, now what? Glutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun game. I like this one. Glutes? Yeah. Well, because I'm curious. I don't know how to do all of this stuff properly without oh, somebody's hands on me. Glutes are kind of hard, but I mean... You get a little bit of glute stretch when you go with one leg up and over and in. Over and in, what? Over, like. Just in. It's the same. Just grab your leg and make sure you're all nice and aligned. Gotcha. Well, I was, should be doing this, right? <laughs> yeah. I just didn't do the last one because it's going to be so much. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, glutes is an interesting one. <laughs> Has paralyzed individuals well from getting into that position um but this is a good one another one is to be on your back and then you grab your leg from behind but it's also <laughs> very hard to position oh so like you're the ballerina mm -hmm. oh. like being, yeah i mean yeah, you I might be able to do it with your long arms and long legs and long legs i don't know i need a hand but... i would probably need someone to This is a lot of different stretches, but... Oh. Why is this one so tight? Because we sit all day. But it's weird <laughs> because this is like kind of a sitting position. How about you're stretching this out? So it most of the stretch... Here. Well, yeah, it's here too, but it's stretching in the opposite direction. Like, you're lengthening this entire thing right now and going in the opposite direction and pulling this further away. Gotcha. The simplified version. <laughs> well, I, I trained like nearly professionally for <laughs> a long time and I learned new things with you. Does that Almost make sense though? So? Like you're pulling yeah. this side and then this side's coming this way. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's a tight. Mm -hmm. Sitting is bad. Very bad. So bad for your health. 
spinal cord injuries and sitting all the time like 15 years, knocked off the top. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sitting. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know, now sitting you know. Sitting is literally the new cancer. By the way. So we should start smoking. <laughs> no. That's not what I'm saying. Huh. Damn. <laughs> the Fresh Air Club. <laughs> no, I like the more like adventurous outdoor fresh air. So mm -hmm. Hours. Okay, so um, it's me now. I was gonna say like your core, but we're not stretching your core. We're, that would be a strengthening. Let's do chest. Chest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> um. Jing. Okay, so. Clasp your hands like this behind you. Interlace them, yeah. Interlace your fingers. Don't fall over like I almost <laughs> just did right there. I'm gonna cross my legs because this is the best balance I have. You can't Maybe get a there. Bit of core balance exercise in one. Yeah. Look at us. Bye, winning. <laughs> Interlace fingers behind. I run my hands along the ground. I also try and counteract my curve in my spine. Run my hands along the ground, out probably a foot and a half from me because I have long arms. And yeah. roll your shoulders. You don't have to be that far out if you don't have long arms. <laughs> Back and down. Shoulder blades together and in your back pockets. I like it. Don't forget to breathe. Like if you picture the Care Bear stare. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that. <laughs> Remembering if you can't clasp to just put your hands I, on it. Yeah, clasping's hard. I had to quit. My <laughs> wrist hurt. You're telling me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no. And you can also get a wrist stretch out of this if your hands are. Fingertips are backwards, oh, but if you want to put your fingertips forwards, you can get even some stretch there. See? Tricks. <laughs> I don't actually do any of this. I just follow along. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a two for one, I mean, I'm all for two for ones normally, so. Alright. Now what? So that was chest. We didn't do the obliques, and I really get tight in one side over the other because oh. my level of injury is like more numb on one side mm -hmm. and more function. So. Okay, let's do another semi hip and oblique then. And going over like this. Oh, yeah. And okay. then crossing my arms. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting back up and over here. I can take my arms over here. <laughs> yeah, you take your arms over there. Oh. Oh yeah. So remember, our left arm's here, and then our right arm is going over. Top. Oh, to your left side with your left arm. Yeah. And right arm over top. And you should feel it all down that side. All down your right side. Yeah. Thank you. Directions. Why? Well, like, I like to follow along with my eyes closed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I normally mute people, so. Described audio. I'll just sit here and describe you to everybody. <laughs> They'll get sick of it. Did you? Well, just be careful. <laughs> no. My nose is smiling, and I noticed when we started this. <laughs> okay, you're hardcore over here. It just, hey, we have to, we have to rotate. Switch. One, two, three, switch. How are we switching? Just, just like this. So we have room. Right arm going down first to the side. And then left arm going over right. Remember to breathe here. Um, 
Um, we should do some forearms. My forearms are tight from rowing. I don't know if this does your forearms. <laughs> and I don't think You're that really I'm going to, to be able to do it without leaning on something. <laughs> because you won't get the full stretch in. I'm like so serious. I, well I just have to lean back because I don't want to balance. There you go. And so you stretch your arm out in front of you, straight out in front of you. Bend your fingers back as far as you can towards yourself. Us double jointed people that would always like to try and touch our forearms with our fingers, don't do that. That's not healthy. <laughs> yeah, and stretch as far as you can. Again, not, don't forget to breathe. Try not to wear your shoulders as earrings. Wow! <laughs> so, and if your wrist feels like it's on fire, switch hands. <laughs> you can also just flip up too. Sometimes my wrist gets too restricted here because my wrist is all kinds of things right now. Oh yeah, so I okay. I just go up this way just because my wrist is so... Oh, that's better for my double joint and tentativeness. Is it? Yeah, because I can like extend my elbow, and this way is a. I used to train a kid last semester who was double jointed, and he was a weightlifter. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, it didn't bother him. Like I don't think your elbows are supposed to be like that. <laughs> Again, pushing every day, all day long. Forearms get ridiculously tight. Yeah, doing this before you like get out of bed is not a bad idea. Stretch your feet the same way. Stretch your arms the same way. Pull all also having the digits back. A tennis ball is super helpful, or a lacrosse ball, or like some kind of ball. I have a Thera ball. Yeah. And rolling out your forearms is super helpful. Especially I found in the beginning when I was learning how to push. Everything was on there. Um shoulders. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. is there a bicep stretch? Such a thing? Kind of. For us with tendon problems? I mean it's more of a deltoid stretch that's important. It's this one. Okay, back to the yeah. The cheating devices. <laughs> so left arm, are you doing yep. yeah, you're doing left arm? Right hand is going underneath, pushing at the elbow, and your left arm is trying to go across your body. Reaching. Breathing and reaching. Sides. Sometimes I never get enough stretch out of this, that's why I have to do the pretzel. Because I'm using the weight of my whole body on it. It's so tight. I finally got it loose enough that I can feel the stretch around the back side of myself. What else we need to start doing is doorway stretches for you. So we don't have doorways, so... We do. Well, here we don't, but over there yeah. we do. <laughs> um, tricep. <laughs> Play with my brain. The first problem is we sit closer to the camera. I'm gonna just stay over here. Yeah. I'm gonna fall over. That's While okay. you explain. <laughs> so, called for triceps. Reach up over your head with your left hand to your the back side of your head 
to grab your elbow with your right hand and stretch that tricep. Yeah, you're taking your right hand and pulling it. Pulling your elbow towards your head. Yeah. This one's always an interesting one to explain to people because some people can't actually physically get up this high. Oh, yeah. Touch your shoulders. People can't do that. No, so you just like start here and then, you know, get to here and then you're like, okay, we can work with that. Big inhale, exhale, and switch sides. Right hand over your head. Left hand on the elbow. Pull it towards. And as best as you can, try and, I mean, I'm slouched over here, but sit down nice and tall. This is almost easier to do just in your wheelchair. Yeah, it is. Or a chair, or on a ball, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or with core function, you know. <laughs> that always helps. And see you. <laughs> traps. There you go. Where where is your traps? To not not quite, but like kind of. Well, like, like here. It goes here. Yeah, it cuts traps. from the back here from the bottom of your head and down and then it goes all the way down your spine and pulls on, yeah. That's a simple one. Tuck your chin in and then look all the way down. If you need more assistance, you can use your hand. Cool, oh, gravity's down. good. And from here, keeping that neck nice and tucked, you can look to the right a little bit. Not quite going down to the armpit, but just looking over your right shoulder. I don't understand. <laughs> just look at me. You're gonna feel it all in here. So instead of going like here to here, we're going from here up to your shoulder. I don't feel that stretch. Let's see what you're doing. <laughs> I'm like trying. Tuck the chin in and go down. Now come and look towards me. Like bring your forehead up a bit. And come this way. Look more me now. There. You're like trying to get your nose to your shoulder kick. Oh, I gotta get way over there. Got it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, way over there. To the right. What would that be? To the east? I don't know where we are right now. Yeah, east? I think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is still a hard one to figure out where it is. Tucking the chin in. And then going to the left. Trying to get that nose to the shoulder blade. Maybe you're just not as tight there. I don't think I'm tight. I, there's no... Because <laughs> for me, I'm like, oh my, I feel it all down here. No, I'm tight more in the front of my neck than the... Do you clench, I think? <laughs> this? And I tense? I clench in my sleep. Maybe. Um, do you want to do one more neck to finish off? Oh, a neck one to finish off. Okay. Like your skin. Yeah, you can do that. <clears throat> so, my scalenes are hella tight all the time. I can play them. So, <laughs> staring up at the ceiling, dropping your shoulders back, 
down into your back pockets, squeezing the little blueberry. Stretching the front. I can feel it all the way from my solar plex nearly. I need to show you an exercise later. <laughs> Perfect. Back down to center. And what's something where we can just like roll our <clears throat> the circles with the nose, just to roll that out. The circles like this? Like, yeah. The drawing, you called it saucers. Mm -hmm. Up-down saucers with your nose. Oh, I'm cracking. Yeah. Blood flow that computers don't allow us. Screen time doesn't allow us to move. So it's direction. Bodies function best when moving. Yeah, my professor once said we were genetically made to move. And we all do the exact opposite. Hopefully. We need a skeleton hanging from our ceiling. We need a what? A skeleton. We like one of those little bone structure dudes. You want a skeleton? Just a little one. Like a foot tall. Maybe <laughs> two. Why do we want a skeleton? Because that's how you're genetically made to, like, still as a paraplegic, be able to stack your spine and sit. We want right? a skeleton. Well, you can show it. <laughs> you can, like, sit it there and be Those like, this is Those things are expensive, but yeah, we'll find a skeleton. <laughs> if you got a skeleton. Right? We'd love one. <laughs> Preferably in, like, black. would be cool. Decorative piece. <laughs> we'll paint it. Alright. You get to end this one. Oh, do we want to go to our backs? I'd be happy to. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Janelle. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> yes, we <laughs> enjoyed it. <laughs> Episode of the Funny House, number 15. 16. <laughs> I'm going to choke on my teeth. I'm going to sit. <laughs> That'll go in there too. Great, thank you. <laughs> I have a five six problem. <laughs> so thanks for joining us on day sixteen of this. We're calling it a journey, but I don't know. It's more than a journey, that's for sure. <laughs> of whatever this is, this was just a fun little movement session. So I always enjoy that. We're gonna head to our backs, um, remembering to be grateful today. Um, for everyone around us and even our health and our ability to move. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and the little bell to notify us. And oh, Nell so is listening. <laughs> Nell is ready. ready to go. Oh yeah. So let's get to our backs. <clears throat> this is literally the favorite part of every day. Every day. Remembering to breathe down here, melting into the ground.